Hello everybody, this is a, uh, a description on how to plug in a remote teleworker or a remote uh, IP phone. Um, in this case, uh, we're going to be connecting it to a Mitel 250, um, which is most of our customers' sites. Um, okay, so uh, in the advent of uh, coronavirus, etc., a lot of people wanting to work from home. So um, they require a, uh, a an IP phone power supply. So um, what uh, what do you, we what you'll probably get is something similar to what we've got here, uh, which is a uh, this is in this case a Linksys. It could be anything really, as long as it's supplying sufficient power to run the IP phone. Um, so this device, although you can't see it, it's a, it's a catalog photo. Um, this device here, okay, will connect to the mains power okay so you'll plug that into your wall outlet on the main side uh, and then here at the front you've got two ports okay and here is a close-up hopefully uh, if I've got this right uh, now on the two ports at the front um, you have uh, they're both marked up with data but one is marked up with data and POE which stands for power over Ethernet okay so what it's doing is it's taking your normal network connection and plugging it into um, uh, this device and then out the other side of this device comes your normal network connection but injected into it is power okay and that's what you need to write to drive your IP phone so um, what we do is uh, and again forgive me I'm just going to put this on a, a little diagram it's only on a post-it note so this is rather quick and we're not going to, have to prepare this properly um, so bear with me Okay, so I hope you can uh, all see this okay. But uh, here is your normal home router. So that's what you'd normally expect to see uh, in your house, um, uh, connected via your telephone line, connected via the telephone socket into a socket marked DSL. And again, forgive the, uh, the scroll that I call handwriting. Um, so here is your um, telephone, normal telephone line. Um, your phone would connect into there. So generally, if you've got one of these, this will all be connected. It'll all be there, ready to go. Um, uh, if it isn't, then you would need to order a, a, a home DSL broadband connection. Uh, you might have uh, like a virgin cable or something along those lines, but generally the router will have four um, LAN ports, okay? Or network ports, as we call them, usually colored in yellow um, so that uh, you can easily connect your network. Okay, so here is the injector that we showed just a little while ago on the screen. Um, and on this injector, on this case, um, the, the two ports are different from what was on the screen there. But basically, you've got your um, non-powered side or data side or LAN side, um, which might have a little symbol on it similar to this with uh, two computers connected together. Um, this is what needs to connect into via Cat5 to your home router. Okay, so this is the non-powered side of that um, injector, okay? From the other side, okay, which is the PoE and data side, um, this is where your telephone will connect, okay? If you get this the wrong way around, what will happen is your telephone will have no power and it will be blank. So if you get them the wrong way around, switch them around or make sure that the power is plugged on um, and, uh, and, and they are connected into the right area. So the, the telephone... Your IP phone needs to connect into the PoE side of this injector, okay? Um, so, via a Cat5 again, okay? Cat5 cable, there's a Cat5 cable, okay? Uh, straightforward, same both ends, RJ45 connections, both ends. Um, so, we'll have a connection from your uh, PoE injector on the date land side straight into the router, and from the PoE injector on the power side, straight into your telephone okay uh, in the base of the telephone there are, there are generally two ports okay one is marked up with pc okay and the other is marked up with uh, lan or lan ports uh, something along those lines so you don't want to be plugging this into the pc ports again phone will stay blank there's no power it's expecting power to come in on this port here marked up as LAN okay and again just a standard cat5 lead okay to go from that port there to the power port on the injector okay um, your computer at a later stage once the phone's working can plug straight into the PC ports on the back of the telephone uh, via said um, 
RJ45 lead uh, and that can go straight into the network port on your PC or laptop um, and that will give you a connection uh, to the internet uh, via the telephone. Obviously if your, fat, your PC or laptop is running wirelessly uh, or is separately connected you can just maintain that as it is okay but if you're struggling for uh, for LAN connections on the back of your router say there's only one for instance it means that you can plug your PC into the phone after you've got the phone working okay um, so uh, moving on to the telephone okay folks before we go onto the phone uh, I thought it'd be a good idea just to uh, go over what you would generally term an IP address um, so IP addresses will generally come in this format, okay, um, commonly written down as 89.289, these could be any numbers, okay, that will tie a, or put an address on your phone system, on the internet, uh, so that you can actually point your telephone directly at your telephone system. Um, so, uh, two ways of writing this down, um, you could have 89, if it's only two octets, uh, .289, if it's got three octets and then these xxx's i'm not going to put an ip address in there because it could be anything any number okay but uh, you'll be given this by your uh, telephone system uh, maintainer um, you can also enter and you'll see this in a little while uh, the address into a telephone so rather than put in 89 and then go searching to try and find out how, how to put a dot in there um, you could just put in 089 so wherever there's just two digits or one digit in an address uh, you can put in 089 or if that was just simply uh, an address for instance uh, dot one for instance you could put in 001 and the dot would automatically appear um, as you put the third entry in that uh, little uh, area of the octet okay so uh, going on to the phone now okay this is my remote handset um, uh, I've got in here at uh, my home office um, so uh, this I've just plugged it in it's completely wiped okay there's nothing happening this is a Mitel 5312 IP phone uh, generally most of the Mitel phones would do the same as this uh, what it's basically saying here is it's looking for a DHCP um, uh, discovery okay so it's trying to get an address on the network uh, which it has done um, but then it's coming up with uh, a message to say option 129 is missing okay that means that to option 129 it's looking uh, for a message to come through um, uh, without going into too much detail from your router to tell it where to go to find the phone system okay we can't um, we can't see this it hasn't it hasn't picked it up has nowhere to go so it comes up with a message to say I haven't got anywhere to go okay which that basically what that means uh, that could be option 129 option 125 option 43 uh, but basically it's looking for a phone system it has no information so what we have to do is we have to manually um, configure the telephone um, now the easiest way to do that is to get into the uh, configuration menu um, and to do that uh, we simply need to turn the power off to the phone system or to not the phone system to the phone um, either through the injector and wait till the screen goes blank uh, and then turn it back on again or you can just simply unplug the uh, phone and plug it back in again at the back uh, uh, via this Cat5 lead that goes into the back. Um, so reset the phone, okay, it'll go blank. And when it powers back up, just hold the uh, volume up or volume down key, doesn't matter, okay. Um, just keep them held down and you'll see a uh, configure phone option come up on the screen. So I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna reach around the back, slip the lead out at the back, it all goes blank plug it back in okay and then press the volume down key keep it held down uh, if you're a bit slow on this it won't come up with this it'll just go into a boot phase um, so it'll try to start booting you'll just need to pull the lead again uh, and try it again okay so it's not you know it does give you a bit of time to do it but there is uh, it's not infinite so just plug it back in and then come straight around the front and hold volume up or down key and then you'll end up at this menu here okay so um, configure phone is asking a question and it's looking for an answer with a star for yes or a hash for no okay so we're going to say star we're going to configure it okay network parameters uh, we're going to say star because that's where we want to be um, okay view current values I'm going to say no because I don't need to view it 
Uh, so I'm pressing hash to say no. Static QoS, quality of service, I'm going to say no. Static IPv4, now this is where we need to be, so I'm going to put yes in there. Okay, do I want to view the IPv4 values? I'm going to say no because I don't need to. I know it's blank. Okay, so no. Modify, so yes, I do want to modify. So yes, star for yes. Now, it's asking me if I want to scroll down, backspace or forward. Uh, and there's all the options there. I can use the vol volume up and down or a star or a hash to go backspace or forward. It, this will become apparent a bit more clear, so I shouldn't worry too much about it. So volume down, first of all. Okay, um, phone IP address, I would leave that blank, okay, because uh, uh, the phone's going to pick up an address from your router, and down again, same with the default IP, leave it blank, so down again, subnet mask, leave that blank, so down again, okay, ICP IP address, this is the address of the phone system itself, this will be given to you, um, by your uh, network administrator or your, your bosses or whoever's going to give it to you. Okay, I am going to type an address in here. Um, so generally remember going back to the IP addresses, if the address was for instance 81.1.2, uh, then what I would do is I would easily, I would put that in as a 0, 081, 0, 0, 001 for the dot one, zero zero two. 2, okay. Um, and as soon once it gets three digits, it automatically puts a dot in there. Uh, so you don't have to worry about dialing a hash to put the dot in. You just put the three digits in, okay? So wherever you see uh, a two digit number, put a zero in front. Wherever you see a single digit, put a zero zero in front, okay? So in this case, this would be given to you as 81.1.2.xxx, whatever the uh, next uh, three digits are, okay? so. If you make a mistake, all you've got to do is you've got a circle with a square in it, press that, and it'll clear the total entry, okay? Um, so, um, if, okay, so I'm going to type in the address. Um, so trust me on this, um, I'm going to put this in. Um, okay, so I've typed the address in and I've pressed the scroll down key. Okay, so now we've scrolled down. We've now got another option to put a TFTP server address. Now, this is the same address that you've just typed in. So you've got to repeat this twice effectively. Okay, so it's the same IP address uh, that I'm going to type in. That, so that in the previous example, that would have been your uh, 081001002. Uh, I hopefully you, you get the idea. Uh, so uh, I can't show you this because it's a, it's a valid address. So bear with me. I'm going to type this in. Okay, so I've just typed the address in, okay? You can just see the last couple of digits there. Um, so all I'm gonna do now is press the down button, okay? And it's gonna ask me for the TFTP server port, okay? Uh, we don't need it to put anything else in here now. All we need to do is repeatedly press the down key, which I'm going to do, okay? And scroll through these options until we get to the end that says save changes. So start to save the change. It's now saving to itself all that information. So now it knows where the phone system is and you press star again to do the reboot. The phone will come up with a reset. Uh, what it's gonna do now is the phone's gonna go away. Uh, it's gonna pick up an address from your local network, get out on the internet and go searching for the address that you've just typed in. Um, so you get lots of information come up on screen. Um, and you will briefly see it start in minute uh, uh, and, uh, and connect into the server. So now it's waiting for a, an address from your network, which it uh, should pick up shortly. Um, and then it will go on to find uh, the server. So um, it's in discovery mode at the moment. Okay, start in minute, contacting the server. So it's found the system. It's now speaking to the phone system. Uh, and now this has actually come up. So this is now working, ready to go. Um, you've got your extension number there um, and you've got your name as programmed into the system uh, and you have full functionality. You can, you know, you can dial a uh, voicemail. Enter your passcode, then press okay. hash. There you go. Uh, you can dial nine for a line, dial out somewhere.
Okay, so you're fully functional. If somebody needs to ring you, there's your extension number, 5090. If this is an office that you've, if this is a telephone that you've bought out of your office, um, all you need to do is to, uh, uh, is to plug this in, um, configure it, and it will automatically come up with your uh, extension number. Um, if it's a new telephone, uh, it will generally come up with the new telephone extension number or it will request a PIN from you. Okay, uh, if it asks you to enter a PIN, it means it's a new telephone number. The phone system isn't aware of this MAC address. Okay, so it doesn't know which this phone is, whether it's a, a good one or a bad one. Okay, so um, all you have to do then is to type in star, star, star. Okay, uh, when it's asking for the PIN and then the extension number you want the phone to be. Okay, um, and if that is valid, okay, you press the um, uh, blue key to send it. Uh, if the phone system is happy with the uh, information that you've entered, it will allow you to connect. Okay, if it isn't happy, it will just come back and ask you for, uh, to enter a new pin. Okay, um, so if, that, uh, if your telephone has been used before, it should automatically come up as you are here. Okay, uh, I certainly hope this helps. If you need 